Hi, this is Danny Lewis. I'm a Steinberg certified trainer and just going to take a look here at Retrolog. This is the first time that I'm going to be playing around with it. So I just wanted to capture some of my feelings about it and I'm going to explore the possibilities. This isn't a tutorial showing you how to work it properly. So I'm just going to find my way around with this and I haven't got my MIDI keyboard connected. So I'm going to be using the QWERTY keyboard here and uh, let's just trigger a note. So we've got C playing there and at the moment there's one oscillator up here. Just going to switch through the waveform types. This is all very much what we'd expect. So we've got the pulse with variable width. So 50% becomes the square wave. So this is great. Let me just take it back. Sawtooth. I want to see how the filter works over here. Instinctively, I'd reach for this cutoff. Let's see how that 24 dB slope sounds. That's nice. Maybe bring up some resonance. I'm going to really increase this as well because apparently this one self oscillates. Yeah, it's sounding nice. Now, what I want to do is actually, whilst I'm here, let me just check the filter envelope. Take the filter cutoff down, envelope amount to max, take the sustain down. Okay, working nicely. And then let's just try on the way up here. Everything working as expected. You know, this is a real sort of reminds me a bit so far of the SH101, you know, the classic Roland analog synth. So let me just for the moment take the envelope off, bring that sustain up, open the cutoff frequency. And also want to do is just check out this thing where we've got this ability to add a thicker sound and I had a read of the, the information and it was saying that the multi is where we do this. Now um, there's a detune here. So this is kind of like a unison sort of thing as far as I know. So let's take here the voice numbers up. Take the detune up. Wow. Okay. So we've got multiple detuned oscillators here. I'm assuming this is eight voices. So it's number. I don't know what the points are. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm assuming that's eight voices and they're detuned. So we can say here, wow, that's really thick. Obviously losing its kind of pitch, its, its normal pitch, the further we go, it sounds like the sort of thing that would be quite hard to fit into a melody. But somewhere around here, it's got a nice beating effect. It's got a nice kind of detuned flavor to it. And uh, you get some good trance kind of leads and stuff like that out of that. So yeah, that sounds like a filter. And in fact, let me get that envelope working again. Bring that sustain down. Yeah, that's sounding nice. Just gonna check out the delay here. Um, all right, delay, all right, we've got to turn this on. So it's uh, appearing to be tempo synchronized at the moment. Whilst I'm here, let me just switch to a different filter. Let's try the opposite. Nice. And let's flip the envelope the other way around because we've switched the filter type. Yeah, all sounding really good. Sounding really good so far. Now let me just check out the um, the other oscillators. How does this work? I've got to turn on two. I've got the ability to have the same kind of vibe here and uh, the mixer here. I'm just going to take this down. In fact, let's turn up oscillator two. Okay, let's switch to the pulse. Take it 50% again. So just a tuning. Could put the other headphone ear on. See what I'm going to try that thick thing on here as well. So we're going to use the multi. We're going to detune that a bit. Give it some extra voices. 
and that is working really nicely. Switch to the low pass again. Yeah, this is good. Now there's a sub. Okay, switchable oscillator waveform types for the sub. Um, I'm moving this down here, so the behavior must be upwards. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I was clicking and dragging down. That's incorrect. So it's literally lifting up. There's probably a setting that I can switch for that. That's working really nicely. If you've got a big set of speakers or headphones, you'll be able to hear that nice kind of bottom end going on there. The noise, not hearing that so much, of course, because of the filter envelope. So let me just open the cutoff. Different noise types. Oh, once again, I've been fooled by rotating down here. Let's go upwards. Okay, that's good. Let's have a look at this uh, voice mode up here, gliding. Let's maybe switch to mono. Okay, looks like I need to spend a bit of time with the manual and um, the voice section just to work out exactly what's going on with the behavior there. I'm not sure whether there's any legato stuff going um, where the, the glide is occurring only through legato or whether it's happening with single plays of the keys. I'm not sure. So that's something I need to work out. Um, I'm assuming the LFOs are easy to bring in here. Let me take this um, glide off. We'll take the noise off as well. Definitely like the way this is set up at the moment in terms of um, it's very simple, very analog feeling. Um, let's see if we can just set up an LFO. Um, there's no amount on here, so I'm assuming the matrix. Okay, so this reminds me of a couple of other synths actually. So if we say the source is LFO1, the destination is pitch, and uh, where are we? Depth offset. So let's take the depth to maximum. Wow, okay. So uh, <laughs> you can hear that. Let me take that sub off. Let's have a listen again. Speed. I wonder if this shape is connected to that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is like the pulse width. So we go low to high. Yeah, so that's the square wave. Um, so yeah, this is all working as expected, I guess. Wow, that's high. So yeah, so stuff like that could be mapped to a, a, uh, a MIDI controller, of course. I'm wondering, can I, the, the depth here, I wonder if here there's anything clever. Um, yeah, I'd really like to be able to modulate the depth with another parameter over here. Maybe that's what all these buses are about. Um, maybe that's a, I don't know, maybe that's a signal side chain in or something, something to do with the modulation. Actually, I think, to be honest, that that's going to be more likely not to be signal, but actually to be modulation based on a series of buses that can modulate each other in some way. So that's another area where I'd need to investigate. Definitely would like to be able to modulate the depth based on another another parameter. Oh, here we go, we've got two LFOs here, so maybe a second LFO. Um, so yeah, look, um, that's gonna be it for the moment. And uh, what I'll do is uh, on the channel, definitely we'll have a series of videos where we do some sound design on this. Once I get to grips with it and fully understand what's happening with it, to be honest with you, on the surface of it, it looks very simple because it's a very standard analog style synthesizer. Uh, but there are some really great classic patches that could be built potentially on this. So I'll start building some of those and uh, showing you how I do that for future videos on the channel. So that's it for the moment. And uh, 
I'll speak to you soon on another video.